Hello folks, False Prelate here. Today I have a very special video. I've been working on a uh, project for a little bit. It's a Path of Exile tool called Heist Cheat Sheet uh, website. And basically the idea here is I wanted to compile all the information from all the different sources into one place uh, so that people who are heisting can come to somewhere that doesn't have uh, like a ton of ads, uh, that is nice and clean and has all the information presented in a nice way that has like is easy to read and has graphics. So um, I'll take you through the website. And uh, this is just a work in progress, this website. So uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below the video. I'd really greatly appreciate that. All right, so let's start off with the basics. So all this stuff here, like the rogue information, you can find this on the wiki, but I've got it all here in one place. All right, and then another thing I've got here, we've got the uh, rogue unlock order. So this is, uh, I think, really helpful because I have like a graphic here that shows like the direction you need to go to unlock all of your different rogues. And then something that was missing from the wiki, um, I actually have here a description too of like which contracts you need to run to get them. So for example, it says here, begin by running a, uh, a brute force or a demolition contract with Tibbs to unlock Talina. Then run an agility lock picking or trap disarmament contract with Talina to unlock Nenit. So like it, I've got this for all of them, but that makes it easier. So like when you go buy the contracts from uh, Wakano, like the level 68 ones to start unlocking these guys, you know which ones you're looking for. All right, then I've got rogue jobs. Um, so I've got it arranged by uh, job so that it's easier to find because I found that this information is really hard to find by job. Like you could find each of these things, but like it was difficult to find if you're trying to find all the information for one specifically. And this is nice for contract farming. Uh, okay, so, and then I've got the best rogue for each one. So, for example, a karst is the best for lockpicking. Um, I've also updated the descriptions of these to be more accurate with the changes in 3.24, which is uh, the scarab changes. And then, so there's a, another couple of big changes in 3.24. There was also the um, stacked deck changes and the divination card uh, box changes. So all of those changes are reflected in here. So, for example, like if I scroll down, Right now, Abyss drops Abyss Jewels, Abyss Scarabs, Legion drops uh, Legion Scarabs, Breach drops Breach Scarabs, right? Um, unique items, Box drop Reliquary Scarabs, like uh, Fossils, Delve Scarabs here. And then um, also for um, Demolition, Demolition now drops Catalysts and Ultimatum Scarabs for the Ultimatum Boxes. This used to be Metamorph. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, so the stack decks, they always drop in stacks of two exactly now. It used to drop um, stack decks and then a bunch of other div cards, but they removed the div cards. So like they're just like little things that like aren't quite accurate on the, the other websites that I just wanted to make sure I reflected in this here. All right, so that's that section. And then the next part, I have a heist testing section, which I plan to add a bunch of videos to eventually. And um, It'll be things like testing div per hour on different like contract setups and things like that. All right, so that's that. And then uh, if you click this rogue gear guide button or you do, do it up here, it'll bring you to the next part, which uh, shows you the rogue gear. Now, the way I laid it out, again, so it's like easiest for people to, to understand. So all rogues use this cloak, minus Huck, because he's like, he can only get level three. But basically the prefixes and the suffixes that you need to craft on this are the same anyway. So I put this at the top. And uh, shows you like all the things that you need for uh, your cloak, and then everything that's like rogue specific, I put down here uh, next to a specific rogue. So for a karst, for example, you've got your lockpick you need. You need a precise arrowhead and a folio brooch. And um, I updated these uh, brooches too to be more relevant to what the actual meta is right now. So again. Um, for example, like a lot of the suffixes we used to use, like we always used to have um, duplicate basic currency and then duplicate stack decks on like basically everybody, no matter what. But I don't think that that's really the case anymore because the stack decks only drop in stacks of two and then there's no other div cards to go with them. So it's like, do we really want to have that on like everybody? Probably not. So let's like take a look and, and uh, test it out and see like what's the best. So for someone like Karst, for example, like the jewels are the best now because you've got the fractured jewels and the synth jewels. Um, Tibs, like a lot of these, the Scarab duplicate is actually a lot better now than it used to be because of uh, the fact that there's more types of Scarabs. So like if you're like with someone who's doing like Brute Force, for example, like Tibs, where you get like a bunch of different leagues, 
then getting the duplicate scarabs is actually a good choice. So there's like a couple of different examples like that. Um, I won't go through every single one, but um, the idea is to try to keep it more relevant to the current patch. All right, and then um, if you scroll down, I've got that's this is like the end of the website here where I'm going to put a gear crafting guide of like how to roll the different gear using like the harvest juice and like alt and regal spamming and things like that. But yeah, that's basically the uh, the website. Um, again, this is a ad free website. Uh, I'm not making any money off this. So um, basically, all I'm asking is like you you, you leave a sub, <laughs> you leave a like on the video. And uh, hopefully one of these days I can monetize a YouTube channel and then maybe I'll get some of my time back that way. But um, I'm going to try to keep this updated as much as I can and just have it as a tool for the um, any heisters out there that are like me that like every single league forget the rogue on lock order and things like that. All right. So thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, sub, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you later.